What's up tech fans? More tech is on the horizon, this time from AMD. Today, AMD announced seven brand new SKUs that will be released to the market. But before we jump in and we talk about all these new CPUs, let's hear a word from today's sponsor, Zero and Nine. It's about that time again, folks. Back to school season is upon us. And if you're a student on a budget, then Zero and Nine has got you covered. Right now, you can get Microsoft Office 2016 for under $25, including Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and more. Microsoft Office has everything you need to keep your perfect GPA. And with a special coupon code for our fans, you can save 10% off your order. So if you need Office and want to keep your grade in check, just use the code TTMM at checkout and start saving today. All right, so if you're looking for an office key on the cheap, there you have it. Now, like I said, AMD has just announced seven new SKUs of their CPU line. The first up is their brand new 200GE. They also have a 220GE and a 240GE, but for some reason, this particular information hasn't hit the market yet. Now, AMD's telling that the big things about this CPU is it's gonna be much faster than their previous generation CPU in this type of category. Okay, that's kind of a no-brainer. I was kind of expecting that. I wasn't really expecting it to be slower. They're not going to come up with an advertisement and say, hey, our CPU is slower than the last one. Buy it, obviously. So that right there is kind of a no-brainer. I did expect it to be faster. Now, the big thing is, though, is they're saying it's going to be about 84% faster though in gaming, which is good news, which means that basically, you know, an Intel processor with their onboard graphics, the onboard graphics on this particular CPU line is probably going to be much better and play better games. Now, these new GE CPUs feature Zen Core technology and Vega technology all on one die. Now, they call this system on chip technology, and I don't know if it's new, but it kind of sounds reasonable because you're putting a chip onto a chip, right? You're having the graphics right on there. Now, this particular CPU, the 200GE, however, is very low price, coming to market at $55, really low price. That's seriously entry-level money for PC stuff. Now, unfortunately though, it only has two cores, four threads, it has three graphic compute units, and it's 3.2 gigahertz. So, I mean, it's not really slow. And I mean, obviously for some older games and stuff that don't take advantage of, you know, multi-core technology, you might actually get some really good gaming experience playing the older games for a fact. Now, in addition to the first three SKUs that we just talked about, which are very entry level, and honestly, at the price and the performance that they're touting, it should be a very good deal. We'll have to see when they actually get it or how they test. But honestly, for that price point, it seems like they're going to get a good market share of buyers because it's just honestly really cheap and it looks like it's going to have good performance. Now, there's also four other SKUs being released. And the first one's kind of weird because it's an Athlon Pro, right? It's still a 200 GE, but it's an Athlon Pro. Pro GE. Now everyone, I don't even know what you guys want to say, but I hear the name Athlon, I feel like we're in a car, we're going in reverse, just peeling out, going backwards in reverse, because Athlon to me, like, speaks of, like, you know, the previous days, and having the CPU with the same type of name, 200 GE, so we have a pro version, a non-pro version, might be a little, you know, bit confusing to some people, but the specs are pretty much identical other than the five megabytes of cache. It's still, you know, two cores, four threads, 3.2 gigahertz, 35 watts of TDP. So, I mean, it's pretty much the identical chip just with a pro thing tapped onto it. Now, what the price exactly is on this, they haven't announced it, and what the performance is going to be, you know, is it gonna be really that much better than the other version? I don't know, we'll have to see when it gets here. Now, the next CPU is the 2700X. Now, this is the new Ryzen Pro 2700X. Now, this features eight cores, 16 threads, 105 watts of TDP and a 20 megabyte cache. So all in all, really nice CPU. Now, right underneath it though, is the 2700. Now, this to me seems like the really sweet spot about everything because it still has eight cores, 16 threads, 65 watts of TDP. So the power requirements much lower, which for you know people like to overclock and stuff, that's gonna come across really, really well. In fact, you'll probably hear people saying, just buy the 2700 and overclock it, because obviously with that low of power, you've got a lot of room to work with to overclock that CPU. And since it's pretty much identical, I mean, it really is. Now, the really only two differences between these two CPUs is that on the 2700X, it's 3.6 for the base, 
and then 4.1 for the boost. And on the 2700, the base clock is 3.2 and the boost clock is 4.1. So they're really almost identical. And since the CPU is probably going to be running in its boosted mode most of the time, the 2700 to me sounds like it is the really sweet spot. Now, and last but not least, we see the Ryzen 5 Pro 2600. Now this particular CPU has six cores, 12 threads, only 19 megabytes of cache, which is a little kind of crazy right there. This particular CPU has a base clock speed of 3.4 and a boost of 3.9, and we still see 65 watts of TDP. So all in all, all of these CPUs sound like they have potential. Now, AMD is obviously saying that, you know, these CPUs are going to be faster than the competition. You know, we always hear that. Um, I always wait until we actually see the results in-house because you guys all know that everybody hypes their product up. That's just how things are in the computer industry. It's like, we've discovered gold. We've reinvented the wheel. We've discovered a new religion. I mean, it's almost like that all the time in the PC industry. Everybody just hypes stuff up. But... Looking at a CPU, the 200GE, that's coming to market, it's only going to be $55. If you're building any kind of computer just for surfing the net, even light gaming and all that kind of stuff, 55 watts, you can get a motherboard for probably around $80, and you can get some cheaper memory. So the only thing really of building a system that's going to cost any money at that point would really be getting the memory since memory prices are kind of high. Beyond that, you can build yourself a really, really, really cheap system. I mean... Only 55 watts of a power drain. It's a dog shaking in the background, by the way, if you remember what that particular sound is. He's giving us the flea shake or something, you know, but uh, that's what that was. You can build a really cheap system, which means you can probably get a case with even a built-in power supply. I know people are going to go, oh my God, those suck, Elric. I know, but if you're building something really cheap for somebody that's just, you know, they, they don't have a lot of money and they want to get an entry-level system, hey man, that 200 GE combined with lower in parts can be a great build. Now, how the other, you know, processes are going to pan out, I don't know. Personally, from what I'm looking at, though, I feel that the 2700 is like the perfect out of all of them. It's that perfect spot in between everything else. The 65 watts of TDP versus 105 TDP, to me, that's a big difference and gives a lot of room for overclocking. And if you even don't want to overclock and you just want to have the system running really, really cool, the nice liquid cooler, hey, the lower your power draw, the cooler that CPU is going to run. Now, I don't know exactly when I'll see these CPUs in-house. I'll try to get them here as soon as possible so we can bring you guys the test. Thing, but uh, they announced them today. They're coming to market. So if you're an AMD fan especially, there's good news on the horizon. And the numbers, they're looking good. For more information, we'll have a link down below. And if you want to get yourself a cheap office key, hey, you can do that as well. Peace out. We'll see you back here on the channel for more tech.